Hello, we are Diana and Donna and Vlad Mihaescu and we are going to present our research paper entitled An Analysis of Different MOOC Environments from the Student's Perspective. This is part of our ongoing research which we are doing here in the Polytechnica University of Timisoara since 2012 researching MOOCs, but mainly how MOOCs can be integrated in traditional higher education. In this paper, we present our findings following a pilot developed with masteral students from our university required to undergo MOOC courses. This is part of a larger effort of building a first Romanian MOOC platform. Our study case involves students enrolled in the Master of Science program of Multimedia Technologies, who attended two different credit-based courses, Multimedia Technologies and Instructional Technologies. The main objective of our study was to understand how the integration of MOOCs into traditional higher education will influence the student's perception over e-learning and MOOCs. Here are our results. As it can be seen from this figure, a majority of 22% of the students followed the course on Coursera, 17% enrolled on Udemy, and 12% each joined the course on Udacity or FutureLearn. Since the students were left with large liberty into analyzing the courses and the platforms that they followed, it is very interesting, in our opinion, that the vast majority presented similar findings or at least looked into similar components from the platforms. For example, from this table, we conclude that students were interested in the structure of the platform, analyzing how simple it is, if it is user-friendly, intuitive, and easy to use. They also analyzed visual aspects such as attractiveness and suggestivity of icons and colors. Finally, the majority of students checked if the platform allows the user to connect with social media. Next, let me move on and analyze the findings from our next table. The students rated the material from the platforms taking into consideration the formats, the clarity, the quality, the difficulty of navigating through the course or its usefulness. Moreover, they focused on the videos, observing their different qualities, the possibility of downloading, interactivity options, and the availability of subtitles or transcripts. General particularities such as progress check, color coding, and pre-requirements were also analyzed by a majority of students. Finally, the students presented their views on testing possibilities and the methods through which they could receive a certificate for completing the course. Let me point out some advantages spot by students. The platform is adaptive and the student can follow the course from his mobile device. The progress bar. Learning in one's own rhythm. Accessibility, flexibility and comfort. And let's see some problems as well. Lack of a grade book. Errors and bugs during tests. Lack of text material. Not all courses are open for enrollment. As our main target is the development of the first Romanian MOOC, we needed to focus on the students' reports on the video interaction and the platform usability. Students reported mainly that they preferred to have the possibility of video to be downloaded, to have a transcript of the video and a full interaction with the video. They also liked a platform which is easy to use and has a lot of social possibilities but they didn't enjoy it very much the forum tool. So we should pay very careful attention to the development of a forum which is more user friendly and which can involve a much more interaction between the tutors and the students. We would like to start discussions on the following topics. One, what examples of good practices regarding MOOCs do you implement for your students? Two, which would be the best structure for such a MOOC pilot experience? And three, how important are such endeavors for a non-MOOC country? We look forward to hear your thoughts and ideas and hope to meet you soon in Graz. Bye-bye.